So in this video, we're going to deal with a side effect of moving from QGIS into Illustrator. To see how to perform that export, you can check out the video that came before this one. So that side effect is the fact that when you bring in point objects from QGIS into Illustrator space, they tend to be converted from points into polygons. So these objects, which in my QGIS drawing were points, have now become polygons with a fill and a stroke. Now, if we're happy with the way they look, that's not a problem. But in case we're not, and we want to have the same kind of graphic control that we have in QGIS over all of these individual objects, we need to convert them into Illustrator symbol instances. If you don't know, an Illustrator symbol instance is just an object whose appearance is determined by a kind of master object. So if you change the master, every other object that exists within the Illustrator space then gets updated. Now, fortunately, there's a really handy little script that allows us to do this pretty quickly. I've already separated my polygons, which I would like to turn back into symbols onto a separate layer. So here's our main drawing. It's currently layer one, several different layers within that. I'm gonna turn that off. And here on a separate layer is our dots to symbol. Our dots, our little sort of pink dots with their black stroke that we want to convert into symbols. The first step of doing this is to download the script. I'm going to include a download link to the script in the video description. Once you have the script, you're going to want to create a new layer. And then on this layer, you're going to create the artwork of your future master symbol. So just for demonstrative purposes, I'm going to use, I'll stick with a star. I'm gonna create a little star there, change the color so that we know we're looking at something different. And then I'm going to turn this into a master image. We're gonna turn this into a symbol. The way to do that is to make sure you have your symbol window or your symbol panel open and ready to go. And then selecting the object that you wanna make your master symbol. Hit this button here, the new symbol. You'll be prompted to give it a name and this is a really important step because the script that you've downloaded will look for a symbol, a master symbol with this exact name. If it can't find it, it won't work. So the master symbol name has to be, must be, dot, capital D, O, T. Leave everything else as it is, press OK. And you'll see that now in our symbol panel, we've got one symbol, which is called dot. Now we can actually go ahead and delete this particular object. We don't need him anymore. We can actually trash the entire layer if we want. And now we're going to select all of our objects that we want to convert into a symbol. So for me, I'll just hit this little shortcut up there to select everything in the layer. And then we're going to run the script. The way we do that is go to File, navigate down to Scripts, and unless you've placed the script already into your Adobe Illustrator library, you'll have to hit Other Script. Navigate in your Finder to wherever you've saved and unzipped the script folder select symbol underscore replacement dot javascript or jsx and press 
open. If it works, you should find yourself being presented with this. I hope you appreciate my script in French. If you don't get this, if you don't get this message, it's probably because the script has run across an error and hasn't been able to perform itself correctly or properly. Hit OK. And now we can see that if we're successful, all of our dots, which were previously polygons, are now converted into symbol instances. I should say here, instance of dot. Now that means if we were to change dot, for example, by editing symbol, say change the color, for example, all of our instances of dot, the master dot, will have been changed. Now, if you're familiar with QGIS, you can understand the power of this little move because all of a sudden you are back into a position of having total control over every single instance of this particular object. Now, if you want to bring in a separate layer or do the same function for a separate layer, then you will have to change the name from this symbol to something else, or else you will just end up with more and more and more instances pointing towards the one object, which is probably not what you want.